up guys Chandler from CNC Tech and yes I am back with an unboxing of the iPod Touch first generation sorry I've been gone it's just there's been some issues in my personal life so I've had to uh, deal with that sorry I've been gone for so long um but I ordered a little package to go with my iPod Touch collection I have the first wait uh, no I have the second fourth and fifth gen the fourth and fifth gen aren't with me unfortunately but I do have the second gen right here but what we're unboxing today is the first gen iPod Touch. So let's get right into this. I've already cut some of it with this knife. Check it out. I think it's uh, still on. Okay. There it is. It's in this bubble wrap. It's not so good wrapping. Okay, that was very easy to get into. Here's a little cord that's been used. I don't. Well, another cord I'll just put to the side. I guess I could use it for sinking later. Uh, let's see here. That's paper. Take a pen. Get you my address. Real quickly. Because, even though I'm moving, I'm not getting my address off. Okay, I can't get that out. Yeah, that's the price I paid. About $27. Really cheap. Uh, here's some still wrapped uh, headphone earphones in the old packaging. It even says it right there. Uh, let's see. I have a box for it right here, so I can open that up. This is the first gen box. Uh, where's that paperwork? We'll uh, kind of rebox this thing as we go. So let's open up the pamphlet. There's nothing in there. For it, so I'll put the shipping information in there. So I can have that. Um, put where's the sink cord? I'll put a sink cord in here. Put the uh, headphones in there. I think that would just uh, there we go. Let's just put it like that. And put the literature on top. And there we go. I got a box, so that's great. This, if you're wondering, this Pebble Watch is broke, so I'm getting, getting an Apple Watch, just all I got for now. It's broken right here, e-paper display, so I can still see the time, but it's screwed up bad. Um, I have dropped something on it, don't want to know. Let's get to the iPod. I don't need that package anymore. Here it says, uh, pre-owned iPod Touch, first gen, 8 gigabyte. Wow, that thing's nice. Okay. This is the back. Tried to look like it was buffed out a little bit, but I'll fix it up. I fixed up this one in the second gen really good, but the Apple logo's gone, but I can work around the Apple logo in this time. It's my second gen right there. I'll compare them in a second. Let's see if it's on real quick, but yeah, it's scuffed up a little bit. If you can't tell, it scuffs up here. It's no big deal. Screen works fine. I don't know if the speaker or anything's fine or the headphone jack. I haven't got any info on that. I'm just happy to have it. Now let's turn it on. Oh, well, it's already on, so that's nice. Guess it wasn't erased. And there we go, it's on, but I guess it is erased. Let's check. Yeah, there's no content. I think it was erased before they shipped it and just like sunk it up to iTunes and or something. I guess they just didn't sync their data on it. It's weird. Um, yeah, this is a very nice iPod Touch first gen. I'm excited about it. All right, let's get the second gen and compare them. This is running iOS 4.1.3. There we go. Looks the same a little bit. This one's really scratched up. Right here, the second one. It's more rounded, square. Very heavier over here on this one. And this one's very lighter. Uh, you can see the screen is very clear. This one updates to iOS uh, 4. Point, let's see here. Let's go to about on both of them. Uh, general, general, about, about. Um, 4.2.1, yeah, that's what it has. This is 3.1.3 .3, if you can't see. 3.1.3. And 4.2.1, latest software for it. Yeah, it's about dead. But it's got a game center and a lot of more updates to it. Very better quality. 
and it has airplane mode and stuff, but this one, I think it works okay, it's very laggy, I'm going to connect it to some Wi-Fi real quick, see if I can type the password, I don't know if this is right, tell me if the speaker sounds right, I'm going to hold it up, you can hear that little clicking noise, I guess it's supposed to be like that, I don't know, there, I think I'm on our Wi-Fi, high speed internet here, I think it's supposed to be like that, because it's just a clicking keyboard. I don't know, let's go check the sounds and stuff. I don't think there's really any sounds. Sounds like a retro gaming. I guess it's supposed to be like that, I don't really know, I'll do some research on it later. But yeah, this is my iPod Touch first generation. Very cool. I love it. It's very nice, slim design. It's uh, really cool to have first generations of all the iPods, except uh, classic. Let's bring out our first gens that I own. Here's the first gen Nano. And the first gen Shuffle. In the box, everything. Very cool, right? Here's the, that one. Let's get them all standing up in a group. And yeah, these are all the first iPods, like, currently this is the first iPod Touch, first iPod Nano, and first iPod Shuffle. Yep, that completes my little tree, uh, tree right here, so it's very nice, I'm really happy to have it. Very cool, I'm excited to play around and use this, I'm not gonna really use it like this one, but I forgot that this one does not have a volume rocker either, so that sucks. That's why they added it. See, it's a more slim design. It's not square. Headphone jack's better. Inten the old antenna got fixed. Stuff like that. This is a rounder. It's more slim design. You know, this is just really weird. <laughs> Made everything a little smaller. But, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And I'm happy to be back on YouTube. I'm going to do a lot of videos this weekend. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.